Oh, sorry guys, I was just um, in the middle of making a very unfunny commentary YouTuber joke. Hello everybody and welcome back or welcome to my channel. I don't really like doing commentary videos, but here we are doing another one. It's almost as if yeah, I'm actually in love with doing them. I want to be the next I'm Alex. <laughs> oh. So uh, if you guys haven't seen, John Swan has returned. I thought, you know, he was gone for good, that he would just leave considering the fact, you know, he was fully outed as a racist and it's quite obvious he's also being transphobic. But no, he has returned, at least to Twitter. He said he'll be making a few videos soon. He did a stream, but I can't really find that. But first, we'll go into his actual return post, what he said, and we will give it a little analyzing afterwards. It begins with, hey everyone, over the past few months, I've spent some time reflecting, touching some grass, seeing family, and taking some time away from social media. In my life, I have made many mistakes, but the events of three months ago clearly take the cake for how absolutely dumb, irresponsible, selfish, and damn right embellic I truly was. A few weeks after everything came out, I made an effort to reach out to everyone I personally misled and offered all of them a call to apologize and go through anything they wanted to. All accepted, and for the most part, we've all moved on from what happened. I also reached out to Dream the day of and gave him a private apology. I burnt many bridges and a lot of people who are probably never going to talk to me again, but I tried as hard as I could to try and make reparations for what I did wrong. I messed up in a big way on a large scale. In many ways, it was a massive reality check for me, although I'm very young. I always thought of myself as mature, but I guess I still have a lot to learn. I've been busy working on myself these past few months, trying to better myself as a person. Over my time on YouTube, I have developed an ego. I'm sure some of you have noticed it. I don't like what I became, and I've tried to get back to the place where I was two plus years ago. And so all of this begs a question, where do I go from here? Rest assured, I'm not giving up. I know some people won't be happy with that, but I'm not about to throw everything away without trying my very best to earn back people's respect. I know it won't be easy and not everyone will want me back, but all I'm asking for is a chance. Over the past year of me making videos, seriously, a lively and notable community grew alongside me. A community that I'm really proud of and I owe it to those people to give this a fair shot. I'll probably do a casual stream within the next few days slash weeks, going over everything and answering any questions you guys might have. But in the meantime, I've got some great videos lined up and I'll be releasing two videos a week starting Saturday for the next few weeks. There's a mixture of short and long videos in there and I think you guys will really enjoy them. Stay tuned, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so that was his <laughs> return uh, post, whatever you wanna call it. And I think we should go into it just to have a little look at what, you know, could be seen as genuine, what is very obviously just a, uh, guys, I'm totally a better person now. Please love me. He starts his own return post with a sarcastic remark like where he usually makes uh, saying, touch some grass. Already, if you're trying to say you want a second chance from people and you want to improve, he's starting your return post with blatantly what is he being sarcastic isn't going to get people to trust you again. That, like, that can be further from what's gonna get you trust from people that you've already screwed over. Like, oh guys, I'm back. I promise I have improved. I've touched grass. Like, huh? It doesn't make sense. He has acknowledged that he has made a lot of mistakes in the past few months, which is good. That he at least acknowledges that he is a bit of a twat compared to some other YouTubers that do commentary videos. You know, like, um, <coughs> Jack Wink. Uh, <laughs> he says he reached out to everyone uh, giving a private apology, including Dream, which so far, to my knowledge, there hasn't been any, anyone that's came out and said, no, he hasn't apologized. Um, I haven't seen if Dream has said anything about this. He also did acknowledge that he messed up on a large scale. Now, large is, is very short selling it. It was a bit more than a large scale. You fucked up on a worldwide scale. Dream and everyone else who's seen your shit, John Swan, are not just, you know, a large amount of people. It's worldwide, because there, there is a worldwide audience around Dream and the people that you fucked over. So I don't, know, I don't know what you think of a large scale, but it's a bit more than just large. He, he also said in it, he's uh, very young, but he's 20. 
He's 20 years old. Like, of course, by like, you know, just any age ranges standards, he is young. But young is like 12 to 14, not 20. You're a fully grown adult, John. Like, he is a fully grown adult. Because in Australia, the age of which you're an adult is 18. Like, I think it is in most countries. Uh, I think someone 19. America is fairly famously 21. That kind of stuff. But John Swan is an adult. He is not a young person. He should have known better. I don't know why he thought it'd be okay to do that in the first place. Like, yes, when he did this, he was a little bit younger. Like, maybe 17, 16, I think. But even then... You absolutely should have known what the implications of that was. You're just an idiot. Of course, he did uh, mention that he has a lot to learn and he developed an ego, which I think everyone could agree he has absolutely developed one hell of an ego, which we're also going to talk about a bit later because I don't think he's um, really trying to fix that. He did say that he doesn't want to give up just yet. He wants to try and get his respect back, which you know, it is commendable. But it's very bold at the same time. Like, imagine being a person that is, was raised, is, well, is, was, depending, we, we don't know. It hopefully is or was, was racist, trying to say, hey, I want a second chance. Like, no, no, that's not how things work. Oh, this thing that's been actively disapproved of for over, like, 60 years. Oh, let me just pretend it doesn't exist. Like, who? Huh? Racism? I don't know what that is! Like... Huh? He did also say that he has a lively community, which, depending on what you call lively, is, um... Is something. You know, I see it as more of a community that is openly willing to hurt people for trying to express themselves. And I think that's how the vast majority of people kind of see it. You know, it's kind of like a Sidemen football Twitter stands. Those kind of people where you try to say anything and they go, oh, ratio G, didn't ask G. Like, like that's your kind of community, but just more, less chavvy. And he did a counter, he did actually do his live stream uh, today, I think. I don't know if it's like unlisted as it's rendering properly on YouTube servers, whatever, but I couldn't find it. So for now, I'm just assuming that it's not there. But if someone has a re-upload of it, it'd be nice to... uh see it just so you know if i have to make a follow-up video which i really hope i don't because uh john swan you know can fuck off <laughs> he can he can go all in all this return post i'd say of course as i said i can't really be accepting apologies or some of this because obviously racism and transphobia one i'm not a person of color and two i'm not trans so I can't really accept any apologies or whatever. But from like a just a general outsider's point of view and from like who's been friends with a lot of people of colour and transgender people, I really doubt that um, the way he said some things here is going to make people give him a second chance. Of course, you know, he is likely probably going to get a second chance. But as to if he's actually deserving of one is a totally different story. It was definitely very shit though in terms of him trying to acknowledge that he's fucked up. Like, yeah, he did say a couple of times, oh yeah, I messed up. But then trying to denounce it down to being very young kind of just screws over your point no matter how genuine you are. Especially when your very young standards is a full on adult. You, that's not, that doesn't really compute at all. I think most people would agree in the sense of if you're 20, you're an adult. And therefore, you should know a lot better. Yes, you are young, technically, but you are not 14. You're not 12. You're not, you know, ages where it's not so common to not be aware of some very, I say, obvious issues. And obviously, John Tom was definitely old enough to know about this and still decided to do it. But overall, I'd say it's like on the verge of being okay for an apology video. Like I'll say, yeah, 3 out of 10. Maybe a 4 out of 10. Definitely not a 5. It's not average. It is definitely below average, but who knows? But hey, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, follow my social medias and my YouTube channel. They'll be all linked below and in the pinned comment. And yeah, guys, hope you're well. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. So she said.